Before the video starts, uh, I just want to self-plug this. So recently, one of my followers DM'd uh, Disrupt Gaming. If you didn't know who they are, they're an organization that has like a tons of content creators. For example, they have Shock, they have Dangleberries, and they a lot more great creators. And basically, one of my viewers DM'd them, asked them how many retweets to pick me up, and they said. 7.2 thousand we are currently at 140 within the last hour and a half if you can go ahead the tweet twitter link will be in the description if you don't mind going and just retweeting it i would much appreciate it let's get right into the video one of the most common questions i've been getting in my twitch chat recently is usually why do i play with points off now i actually made a video a while ago i think like three months ago on interface preferences but since people just keep asking me I feel like it's a mass question when it comes to Siege, why you should play with points on, and actually the benefits. So, in this video, I'll be breaking that down. If you enjoy, like and subscribe, and you can even check out my Twitch channel. All the links will be in the description. Enjoy the video. Since I started playing this game back in Red Crow, uh, I've been playing the game overall four years, by the way. I've probably spent two years with points on, and then another two years with points off. Recently, with the points off, is the last two years. Now, I'm going to list the benefits that most people would say that you should use points, but I think they're more negative than anything. Now, the most common like argument when it comes to having points on is how do you know if you get an injure or if you get a grenade down or if you get a like uh, how many bandits you get off with an EMP or if you disable a yoikai or if you disable a maestro. What I think points do is it actually gives bad players a crutch, and it just this game is a team based game so when you're constantly just feeding off information off points instead of like intel with your teammates it's sh it's just bad in my opinion and it doesn't make sense you're less focused you're less in tune with the gameplay when you have points off you're c constantly having to be in tune with the game because there's sound cues there's literally you can literally hear when somebody gets downed if you down them same with a grenade you can play off the scoreboard if you want to play with points on you can check your scoreboard constantly i think it's like plus 50 or 60 when you get an injure with a grenade so that's really just disabling th that whole argument of course you can say uh what if you emp something like uh how many bandits whatever i i feel like what points do is they actually give bad players a crutch because they're feeding information that they didn't get from being in tune with the game or from their teammates and that's a lot of the reason why teammates are so bad. You have solo queue, you get like the worst teammates that don't communicate. It's almost like that. It's just dead callouts. And if you really want to get into like a competitive aspect of this game, like beyond ranked, then you're going to have to get used to not playing with points on. In my opinion, points off is probably the best because you're going to have to be as most focused as possible just so you can understand sound cues and play off game knowledge instead of just playing off the game feeding you whack information also the main reason why i first actually took off points was because i, I would engage in a gunfight and most of the time not even most of the time sometimes I would, for example, I would think I would get an injure, and I would look at my points, and it would distract me, and I would think I would get an injure, so I'd stop engaging to try to uh, go over and get the down, but it's not even that. I, I would spot the bomb, or I would spot something else, and I would lose the engagement just because I was trying to base the game off of um, points instead of like game knowledge and game sound. I would question the game sound, and I would be like, okay, well, it says injure, so overall, I took points off my versus hub and my oh my outlines now i talked about that in my interface settings preferences and why you should take all that off and i explained but basically the versus nodi is because that gets in my way too and i find it personally distracting that's okay if you keep that on i guess and i also keep outlines off because of that same reason where i would say that i when I try to engage into a gunfight, basically I would look and I would see the outline of my teammate, but I would actually see a person and I wouldn't be able to engage because I'm second guessing what I'm staring at. If you play off like just pure game knowledge and your surroundings, you understand who's around you, then you don't need these crutches that the game offers you. And most of the time it's going to trick you and actually you're going to find less benefits than you think. Now, if you're just questioning, uh, my knowledge or whatever i'm actually going to plug a pengu clip it was from one of his most recent videos 
Uh, all credits goes to him. His link is in the description. If you don't know Pengu, then you must be pretty new to Siege. But basically, he's a pro player that plays for G2. He's considered one of the best players. Pay points off. I would, I recommend everyone to pay points off. Always. Like, if you want to get good at the game, you should definitely take your points off. Because it gives you no benefits of it on. But it gives you so many advantages possibly to take it off. I know if you injure someone, your eyes, sir, you see them. <laughs> there's a sound cue when you injure someone. And there's an animation that specifically only triggers when injured. Like, instead of relying on the game feeding information, you rely on your instincts and your game senses. Which is way better, right? I, I probably understand a lot more about the game than the average person does because I have points off, right? I understand what's happening in front of my eyes. I'm not sure. Leash, I'm actually being serious. The game with points off is so much better. Otherwise, why wouldn't I use it in ranked? When you injure someone with an age, you can scoreboard. You cook an age, you have 10 points. You throw an age, you have 60. You injure someone, you got plus 50. Basic math, right? Every single time a teammate throws an age in Pro League, I check the scoreboard. And I keep track of the score for them. That's why I click tap all the time to check to track of my injuries. I would love to hear your thoughts in, in the comments below. And if you have any other questions or you want to see me talk about any related topics like to settings or just whatever, I would drop it down in the comments. I would love to have a conversation with you guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, of course. My Twitch link will be in the description. Same with Pangu's YouTube. Since, you know, I'm technically just ripping man's content. But it, it was just for a good example. So, yeah, enjoy. Bye, have a great time.